Okay, we got a new truck on the bench today. We're gonna do a quick unboxing and uh, just get a first impression of what the truck looks like out of the box. We got the uh, new Losi King Sling based on the LMT chassis, the LMT monster truck. Um, I know that it is a little bit longer um, and there's a few changes. The body flips up, quick look at the box. You can see the body flips up inside is the electronics. Got some faux zoomy headers, licensed tires. Um, it is a licensed body from Dennis Anderson's King Sling. Um, but it basically chassis, axles and everything is pretty much LMT, except it is extended a little bit longer, I believe, than the center at section across there. And uh, I'm not really much interested in the solid axle monster trucks, but when I seen this was released, this was pretty appealing. Good looking truck. And that's enough of the box. Let's open it up and get a first impression of maybe the size, how big this thing is. here. Just a quick look in this box. It does come with four double A's, extra battery straps, manual for the King Sling and the Bog Hog. Not sure what these are. They look like axle tubes. Also comes with the Spectrum Smart Controller, the DX3, so it can read your battery voltage here if you're running one of their smart batteries. I don't have any of their smart batteries, but I might pick, pick one up just for this particular truck, see how this remote works. Has all your basic switches, steering neutral and reverse, throttle neutral and reverse. So you got somebody younger, somebody less experienced, you can turn the throttle limit down 50, 75, and 100 percent. Steering rate, brake rate, trims, all that stuff. And it is a three-channel radio. Nice foam grip. Oh yeah. It is a little bit bigger than I was thinking. It sits really tall. But overall, super cool looking. Pull the plastic off the body here. So a nicely detailed body. It's all decals. Uh, it's just basic. You know, all the decals look pretty good, like they're installed right. Got the skulls all the way around. They got this nice lower plate, has all the correct advertisements for the real King Sling. Pretty beefy looking truck. Feels beefy. The tires are quite big. Um, it's hard to get a, an idea how big these trucks are by watching videos and pictures. And here you are again watching another video. But I will put this next to the uh, crate, the new Creighton 4S, if that'll help give you an idea what the size is. But I do like the look of this truck. See, we got the threaded aluminum shock, but threaded aluminum shock bodies and aluminum shock caps with bleeder screw. It's got a built-in servo saver. We got mud guards to help cover the help with the shock shafts from getting damaged from flying debris with the faux zoomies I do like the fact that it has clear windows this looks like it has a sticker on it so it's a little blurry and there is a, a driver figure inside it's kind of a nice detail 
Okay, now to release the body, it's got two body clips here with rubber tethers on them. And then we have two, one on each side under here. And then the body should swivel up like so. Give you access to get your battery and stuff in. I kind of like these setups, but they're a little pain when you're trying to work on it. But it looks like just two screws and the whole body will come off. If you remove them here, the whole cage and everything will come off. You can see it's got quite an elaborate cage system inside, which should help keep the body nice and rigid and hopefully keep it from taking too much damage. The front nose is probably going to take a big brunt of abuse so if it's slamming down on the shocks. So it comes with a Spectrum Metal Geared Waterproof Servo. This truck is totally waterproof. It's made to go through the mud. Um, we have the Spectrum. We have a Spectrum 130 amp ESC, which is 4S rated. And a Spectrum 2800 KV brushless motor. See that down in there? All the wiring looks nice and clean. It is just a one plug setup for single battery. Receiver is inside the box. All your gearing is in there. Front and rear sway bars. I do like the uh, aluminum links here. Those look pretty nice all the way through. It's got, uh, it's a four link front and rear suspension. Once we got metal aluminum links top and bottom. Some heavy duty looking rod end. It's got metal universal ends with plastic center shafts on it. Also has a little limiter so it can only turn so far without over turning too much causing damage to the drive shafts. And that's pretty much it on the unboxing. I'm not going to get into too much detail. There's a few other, quite a few other videos out there on the unboxings of these. I was just trying to give you an idea of my first impression. Um, the truck looks bigger than I pictured it. It's got a, the body is really beefy, so it is quite a wide looking truck. Really cool looking setup. I will note that the paint does have a little bit of a metal flake in it, kind of, or a metallic look to it. Probably in the sun, it pops a lot more. Hard to get it on camera. Let's see it compared to the Creighton 4S. So there's, it is compared to the Creighton 4S. The King Sling is probably a good inch longer wheelbase wise. Now these aren't even comparable trucks. I'm just trying to give you an idea of size. The Creighton is significantly lower to the ground, probably by a good three inches from roof height to roof height. You see that there. And then width wise, it's quite a bit wider. I mean, like I said, they're not a comparable vehicle. They're not really in the same category whatsoever, but it's gonna give you an idea of the size. All right, that's it for the unboxing. This is a really cool looking truck. I'm excited to get it out and give it a rip. I got a 3S pack on the charger right now. And we're going to get it out and see what it will do in the parking lot. Just some light running, get an idea of its speed. And then we'll probably hit the dirt by tonight. Um...
So I will say right out of the gate, this thing is a different driving experience for sure. It's so tall that obviously it tips over. I already expected that from videos I've seen, but it just feels so, you can just, it just feels so different. Tires are super, super grippy on the, well, all the way around, especially under turning. Actually jumps pretty nice. This is not made, this is like the monster truck. It's not made for monster super sky air. It's made for you see it almost tip there. It has a really cool look to it. Driving it, it's too so tippy. The uh, tires don't have much correction because there's not not a lot of weight to them because they're so narrow. Oh, oh. Got to see if we can do something about this. This thing's like a trash holder. Just goes right inside the rear. This is my... This is the first battery. I watched a, quite a few videos on it, so I already kind of knew. What to expect. With this, with this thing. And it's a, uh, what the heck?
Jesus. 